evening gamers, I'm Ben, part of the Chemical Apes team and welcome again to Subnautica. So for this guide we're going to be looking at getting the Deep Shroom. So in terms of location we're going to be going northwest. In terms of our starting point we're going to be looking at pretty much the centre of the map just to give that very accurate direction and distance where we need to go. Now the centre of the map can be obtained by pretty much going to these coral tubes here in the safe shallows now they're sticking out of the water here and they're the one closest to the aurora you can obviously see some in the distance there it's not those it's these ones so we're going to be this again like i say is the safest starting point now where we're going to go is we're going to go one click of northwest and we're going to do that in the seam off you can actually do it in the sea glider, but it is not recommended. Um, the first, the first location where we're going to enter is the mushroom forest. It's around about 700 meters from the starting point, and then ultimately to the end point, uh, the actual deep stream itself, which is 1,200 meters. Uh, this is by far the safest, safest. Uh, routes and location you can get them now there are a number what you'll find throughout the game there are a lot of locations in deeper biomes that provide the uh, the deep shroom however you've got to sort of have those upgrades um, and without those upgrades you're going to really struggle so we're approaching the mushroom forest now and you'll see a slight dip and here we go so what we're going to do for this is we're going to sort of pretty much work on the outskirts of the mushroom forest for this particular demonstration just to make it that little bit easier you can obviously cut through once you get a little bit more familiar with the map but just keep on the outskirts for now so right between this cliff face here and the these um, mushroom trees I'm going to work our way through. So, in terms of fauna, it is quite medium threat, uh, but you should be okay, providing you follow the location that provided. The fauna that you may encounter is the crab squid and the warper. Um, warper, in particular, is a little bit of an annoyance. It will zap you out of the sea moth. Um, and you'll wonder what the hell has happened. Uh, the crab squid can sort of disable the seam off itself. So here we go, guys. So once you see this crater here, you know you've reached the blood kelp zone. And right at this edge here, nice safe area. Far from anything is the deep shroom. As you can see, it's right down there at the bottom. And we're going to get our knife out. You can simply pick it up as you would do a acid mushroom or you can harvest it and that's exactly what I recommend you do. So I hope you liked the video guys, if you did, subscribe, like, comment, all is good, ciao for now, bye bye.